Gillis Van Koningslu now also referred to as Gillis Van Koningslu II but previously referred to as Gillis Van Koningsleu III, he was born January 24, 1544, died January 1607, was a Flemish painter of landscapes who played an important role in the development of northern landscape art at the turn of the 17th century, he spent the last 20 years of his life abroad, first in Germany and later in the Dutch Republic. Koningslu ranks as one of the most important Flemish landscape painters of around the turn of the 17th century, he exercised a strong influence on Jan Bruegel the Elder, Pieter Schubrecht, Roland Savory, and other Flemish and Dutch landscape painters of this period. His early landscapes were often northern mannerist versions of the established world landscape type, though with close views of trees already narrowing the panoramic view. Beginning in the 1590s Konings Louis introduced a new approach into Flemish landscape painting. With close-up views of forests reminiscent of Albrecht Altdorfer in the Danube school nearly a century earlier and almost or entirely shutting out a distant view, while earlier forest landscapes had used forests as the backdrop for human activity. Van Koningslu turned them into the subject proper by submerging tiny human figures in elaborate compositions of trees on a hugely exaggerated scale. A forest landscape of 1598 in the Liechtenstein collection is the first work to take this approach to its extreme. The sky is only visible in a few patches between branches and a single tiny human figure reclines under a tree. This painting achieves great intensity and atmospheric quality through its fine shades of brown and green and its accentuated handling of light. During his stay in Frankenthal from 1588 to 1595, he influenced several better-known Flemish émigré landscape painters, who are now collectively referred to as the Frankenthal School. The early 17th-century art historian Karl van Mander wrote about Koningslu in his Schilderbook. The influence of his work spread in Holland by means of his designs for large-scale prints. Mainly engraved by Flemish émigré printmakers Nicolas de Bruyne and Jan van Lunderseel who published in the Dutch Republic, 